prize. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. There we go. I just had one of those, what the hell are we doing <laughs> moments. Just like Jamie, Adam takes a big whiff of the pepper. <laughs> How's that? That was a sneeze. Yeah, I don't. I think I closed my eye. I'm pretty sure I did. I, like, I couldn't not. And the high speed confirms it. At the precise moment of the sneeze, Adam's eyes were shut. He opened them afterwards. So this time, Adam has a plan to produce some potentially blinding results. I'm going to try and hold my eyes open this time. I'm going to try uh, like that. All right? <laughs> Whatever floats your boat. Adam's not leaving anything to chance. This time, he'll clamp his eyes open. But will he be able to sneeze without causing permanent damage? <laughs> oh, my God. I think I was able to hold them open. And before Adam can blink, there's another sneeze on the way. Good job, you did it again. Thank you. <laughs> yep, it's another world first for Mythbusters science. The high speeds confirm Adam definitely held his eyes open for both sneezes. And there was no bulging or eye popping in sight. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> Those eyes don't look like they're bulging out at all. No. No. Well, they do, but they normally look that way. <laughs> Peel the eyelashes back. Viewer myth number one is looking ready to bust. That's pretty definitive. I mean, I couldn't do it, but you sure as heck did. You did it twice. Yeah, it's looking pretty busted, but because the fans asked so many times, I'd really like to wrap this up with an expert opinion. The Mythbusters are going all out for the viewers. So Adam heads to UCSF, where ophthalmologist Jackie Duncan can set him straight. That's just it. Uh... I'm sure that when the fans hear this question, they're thinking that you go, ah, shoot, and your eye goes, boink, 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 boink. I mean, could your eye actually pop all the way out of your head? Well, that's almost impossible. There are a number of things holding your eye in your head. There's a covering over the surface of the eye called the conjunctiva. Your eye is also connected to six different extraocular muscles that allow your eyes to move around. Finally, the optic nerve is connected to your eye and would prevent it from falling out and rolling across the floor. That's a lot of ophthalmology. But what it means is no matter how hard you blow, your eyes aren't going to go anywhere. There you have it. I mean, I couldn't do it, but you sure as heck did. And you did it twice. You sneezed, you held your eyes open, and no eyeballs came out. Here's